Oh, hold on, hold on. My wife's calling. Wait, hold on. I got to take this. Who's this? Who's your wife? Again? It's, it's my wife. It's Mila Kunis. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Hi. You're on a podcast right now. <laughs> oh, she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. I, like, I, I'm a huge rom com guy. This is, I'm I love rom coms. Happy to have the, you back. Like, you I get, you get a, a seal of approval on the rom com from John, and it's like. Because <laughs> it, I'll tell you what, no strings attached, one of my all time favorites. So happy <sighs> to have you back. How much did you guys hate Friends with Benefits and No Strings Attached? That did, Here's Is that even when, in your mind no, when that shit happens? When, when we were making it, I was barely aware of the fact that that other film was being made. And it's crazy because it's my wife. And then yeah, the, cra- I mean, it's, the craziest thing of all is then we literally lived out that movie in real life where <laughs> yeah. we're like, okay, yeah. look, like we're going to hang out and we'll be see friends with benefits and then see what happens. And then if somebody catches feelings, tell the other person, then we'll go. Shit. We, then we lived out the movie that we both made that the other one didn't know that we were making. <laughs> that's, which, that's what's <laughs> That should be a movie. That's, that's the movie. Nuts. That's the rom-com. Yeah, like, oh, we watched the movie. Let's do that. <laughs> we're like, we're so dumb. Like, we know how the movie <laughs> no, ends. No, we read the literal script. <laughs> that is funny because there's I feel like people there's a few there's those two and then there's the illusionist and the prestige and then there was Armageddon oh, hold, hold on hold on my wife's calling wait hold on I gotta take this who's this who's your wife it's, it's my wife it's Mila Kunis hold on <laughs> hello hi you're on a podcast right now <laughs> oh she hung up <laughs> Damn it. I was like, oh, I was about to be like, we technically interviewed Mila Kunis, too. <laughs> like, you don't think we're putting that in the title. You're crazy, man. Uh, those, There's those three sets of movies that all kind of came out at the same exact time that I feel like movie watchers always, like, either pit against each other or talk about at the same time. And those things really just do come together, like... You don't know that another production or another actor, like, no, there's no through the grapevine talk. Generally, like, these, I, I, well, so I heard murmurs when we were shooting the movie that there was this other movie and the writer felt like the other person jacked their idea and whatever. Yeah. But usually, like, these kinds of things happen a lot. Like, there's two projects right now that are about the uh, Galapagos Islands, right? And they're both apparently really good and interesting. It was like the Prefontaine movies, right? There were like mm-hmm. two Prefontaine movies. Mm-hmm. And then like Tombstone and Wyatt Earp, right? Like oh, shoot. Two, those two movies. That. But so oftentimes like the story surfaces somewhere like – because sometimes they, these the movies, they come from like a New York Times article or a New Yorker article yeah. or like there's some article like the and then and everybody – ba- and, and so there's we, we all have this kind of collective – vibe going on of like inbound of content that's coming at us and then writers get inspired and then they end up with competing projects but i didn't i wasn't i knew about the other movie but i thought it was probably different enough and then uh you know i'm like whatever i was just gonna be better but I don't know. Was it? Did you, did you see both? I, oh, I yeah. agree. Which one's Yours better? better. Yeah. In fact, you agree? I, I agree. Your film way better. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Now I'm calling. Get Mila my back wife. On call back Mila. <laughs> call back Mila. See what she, what she, see what no, she thinks. And, and I, I love the other one too. Honestly, I did. Um, but the but yeah, no, no strings attached is like one of my favorite rom coms of the last twenty years or so. Right on, man. Thank <laughs> you. It was a classic. I appreciate that. <laughs>